A couple months ago, we got the breaking news that GTA Plus was going to be coming to the E&E edition, the PS5 and the Series X versions of Grand Theft Auto Online. And once I heard the news, I was just completely and utterly disappointed, and uh, I was thinking about starting to make GTA videos again, and was so disappointed that I just kind of stopped again. But it's the summer now, I have a lot more time on my hands, and I definitely want to start making some more, so things will get consistent uh, from here on out. GTA Plus, when it was first announced, like I said, I was incredibly disappointed. I saw that it was totally not worth it and that it was just simply greed. It's not even ignorance at this point. Rockstar is just shooting themselves in the leg, the foot, the nuts. I don't even know at this point. And it was just completely stupid. I didn't even bother wasting my breath talking about it, but it's, it's getting even worse. It has since been deleted, but a couple weeks ago, yeah, I know I'm late, but TezFun2 over on Twitter announced that there could be some potentially early access vehicles with this GTA Plus membership thing in the next upcoming GTA Online update, which uh, we should expect sometime in July or maybe late June, who the hell knows, I don't work for them. Which just further not only my, but the entire community's disappointment in this whole GTA Plus ordeal. Imagine this. The Oppressor Mark II came out, what, in 2018 with a nightclub update? I don't remember if it came out immediately or if it was strip feed content. Well, let's, let's just imagine this. You get on the new update the day it comes out, and there's this brand new weaponized vehicle that only these certain people that are spending six bucks a month to obtain is now just blowing you up throughout the lobby. Not only is there Oppressor Mark IIs, but it's only limited to these weirdo GTA Plus members. No, sorry, sorry. They're not weirdos. That was uncalled for and unnecessary. Sorry, I apologize. So while you're getting blown up by these Oppressor Mark IIs or just any OP weaponized vehicle, uh, you're you're stuck a week without it. That mean, I mean, public lobbies could come to a complete halt in sale missions and business if you still do that in GTA. Um, but yeah, uh, this that'd just be incredibly annoying if you couldn't get this brand new thing, you have the money for it, you grinded for the money, you came to the update prepared, and you now can obtain this brand new vehicle, which it's just a week, yeah, but I mean, it still sucks. It, it could even be worse for racing too if you are a racer um you know a brand new vehicle comes out and it's the fastest in the game and it's the best and you have to wait a week until you can actually win a race against the people that have the car or whatever nonsense obviously they're doing the early access how upgrades but it seems to be very soon they're going to be doing it with just content in general not just upgrades but just cars i hope it doesn't come to businesses or heists or anything that would be just even more disappointing, but at this point, you know, we, who knows, we might expect it. Ten years ago, Call of Duty, big franchise, you might have heard of it, used to do something kind of like that, where people on Xbox would get the new DLC content, it wasn't a month early, two weeks, four weeks, a month early or something like that, and it sucked. It was terrible no one liked that idea i mean yeah cool the xbox guys which i was part of were like oh yeah we get the dlc first that's cool but the ps3 guys and if pc was really a thing back then i don't remember um they would have to wait a month until they could play this new content which was just terrible it was terrible business practice to for no reason benefit these players that you know don't have to pay an extra dime but still get it a month early that was 10 years ago and i mean i thought i thought we learned from our mistakes but that just shows that rockstar is just completely lost and or just has just no idea what they're doing anymore at this point i think they're just sabotaging their stock or just i i, I don't even know it's it's not ignorance at this point. It's not the fact that they don't know what the community wants. It's just greed and or self-sabotage. That's the only answer I could give anyone that would ask about this GTA Plus topic at this point. That's really all I have to say. It's just the GTA Plus not only is just totally not worth it, but with early access and stuff coming out as a content creator, I might have to buy into the GTA Plus and so will other content creators just so they can get the content out before anyone else and it was it's just really disappointing sucks that it has to come to that and not only that if you spend 72 dollars for example for six six bucks a month you expect a lot of content 
Destiny 2, for example, a free-to-play game, they release seasonal content and then one big yearly expansion. Sure, that can get pricey in the $60 to $80 range, but it's a lot of new content, dozens and hundreds of hours of content to grind and quests and new weapons, and et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, you get your money's worth. You're spending the 60 bucks for the DLC and the season content passes and stuff like that. You're getting your money's worth, but... I don't see where I'm getting my money's worth to purchasing GTA Plus. You spend a year, a year's worth of GTA Plus is seventy-two dollars, and the updates are already free. I don't, I don't understand where you're getting your money back with GTA Plus, especially as a veteran player like myself, been playing since day one. But you know, I could go on for days about how just terrible that idea is to me. But I'm not going to. I'm going to save my breath and just end the video here. Like I said at the beginning, I'm going to get way more consistent now that it is the summer. I don't have as much school to worry about. Probably going to get back into some more GTA RP, Grand RP for uh, to be more specific. So if you're interested in that, stick around, subscribe, like, or if you're still um, subscribed to the channel, you know, expect more videos coming out recently and more consistently. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.